What's up, people? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you. Welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. You know, in case a lot of y'all did, um, don't know, um, I don't know if I made a video yesterday. You know, I lost my aunt in St. Louis, my mama's baby sister. And um, so my mom was the last soldier standing. So, of course, at 84, that really bothered her yesterday. And um, I, tr I sat with her for a while, you know, um, and just, you know, tried to get that off. And then, God, the worst thing, I've, I've had my first experience with a person that I know who died from the coronavirus. So, y'all, we got to really, really take this stuff serious. And there's two, um, first of all, I want to say rest in power to Lenny Wells, Leonard Wells, uh, retired MPD officer. He was a legend, man, in, in the town, in the city of Milwaukee. A real fighter for African Americans and justice and understanding and knowing what's up in the police department. So I like to give credit where credit is due to him and Art Jones, who was our first black police chief, um, born and raised here in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, so he knew the ropes. And I think um, a lot of times the powers that be that don't like that structure. Um, and that's what happened to Arthur Jones, and they ran him off to a leg. So he in Georgia now, Mayor Norquist. He got mad because, like, I know I'm going off, because Arthur Jones wouldn't help him participate in an affair that he was having with, allegedly, no, I ain't even allegedly because it's already been proven, Figueroa. And that's why Mayor Norquist went over to Chicago. I'm just giving y'all a little backstory. So, Lenard Wells was all up in there. Arthur Jones, they really, they tight. Um, Arthur Jones has since moved, to, again, to Atlanta, Georgia. Well, he in Georgia, I don't know, some part, I think if he's still in Atlanta or one of the cities in Georgia. These were some of the most proactive brothers that y'all would have ever, y'all would have loved in every city on the police department. All the black community knew them. They knew all the black community because they was born and raised here and grew up in the hood. Okay, or went to schools that, um... You know, that were in the hood. And so they knew the nuances of dealing with the African-American community. So there's this article that they wrote. And I can explain more who he is. Um, because I just love that he used to do a show called Cops Talking, Talking Cops. Anyway, law, a law enforcement pioneer, Leonard Wells, who died of coronavirus complications leaves a lasting legacy a leader a trailblazer a legend as milwaukee mourns the loss of leonard lenny wells those words have come over and over well 69 died saturday from complications of covid 19. he spent 27 years on the milwaukee police department where he worked tirelessly to bring racial equality to the ranks as president of the league of martin an association for the African American officers. My brother was part of the League of Martin. And, you know, one day I will bring y'all the story. Matter of fact, you might want to know. Because that's what we had here is the League of Martin. And um, then with some heavy brothers. And so now, nothing like that is in place anymore. And during his tenure, the League of Martin sued to make sure promotions and assignments were fair. Okay, we don't have that kind of. Uh, proactivity on the forces no more, y'all. Y'all don't understand what they, you know. So that's why I said this system has already worked too hard to go back to erase all of the progress that we have made. And you can't keep going on suppressing and oppressing people and taking money and being more and more and more greedy and have these diabolical plans of getting rid of populations and you know you can't just keep continuing to go on that way and survive as a society um this guy 
you know, Lennar wanted African American law enforcement officers to have the same rights as opportunities that were afforded to other officers, Assistant Milwaukee Police Chief Regina Howard said. After his police retirement, then Governor Jim Doyle appointed Wells chairman of the Wisconsin Parole Commission. In recent years, Wells taught criminal justice at the University of Memphis. That's what it was. Um, he, he left and went to Memphis. Leonard Wells is a, Lenny Wells is a legend. He really is. He's a legend, said Andre Williams, a retired police captain. He was there as a mentor, as a leader, and the legacy goes on and on through today. He was one of the uh, people that worked with my brother. Um, at the time when, you know, you had brothers on the force with, you know, what? Uh, making sure that um, they stuck together and did things as a unit and still be able to fight and combat racism within the department. That's very important. Anyway, Wells' career began in May 1973 when he was part of the first recruit class under a federally mandated affirmative action program. Nine other nominees, including a woman, were among 65 people in his class. Breaking racial barriers and gender barriers at the Milwaukee Police Department. And that's what he told the Sentinel in 2001. After a year on the job, he was promoted to Vice Squad, where he made hundreds of busts as an undercover officer before continuing to work in Traffic Enforcement Division and later as a District Shift Commander as a detective. In 1989, Wells became president of the League of Martin, a volunteer position. Throughout the next decade, he mentored countless officers helping prepare them for promotional exams and encourage them to pursue higher education, as he did. Uh, Wells earned his bachelor's degree in psychology and a master's degree in public administration from the University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee while working there full-time. While working full-time, I'm sorry. One of those officers was Edith Hudson. She and Howard wanted to become detectives but the sergeant test was offered first. Wells pushed them both to take it, even though the two women had not considered becoming supervisors at the time. All along, Lenny's advice was, we need more women. We need more people of color in supervisory ranks, in supervisory positions. Um, the efforts of Wells and his colleagues in the league paid off. During the 1990s, the percentage of women and minorities in sworn positions in the Milwaukee Police Department roughly doubled, and many of those Wells personally mentored rose through the ranks, including Hudson, who retired from MPD as an assistant chief and is now chief of the Marquette University Police Department. Wow. Lenny loved the people working with him, not for him. And never did I see him act in a way as though he thought being an authoritarian or talking down to someone, Hudson said. He wanted us to be guardians, not warriors. As a lieutenant, Wells embraced community policing before it was even widely adopted. He had several other officers, he and several other officers had a popular radio TV show called Talking Cops, Cops Talking, where they answered calling questions and gave advice about what to do when stopped by the police or how to deal with a ticket or any number, number of law enforcement topics. Boy, I miss them brothers. Arthur Jones, and he was one of those people who really accepted the call to be more community focused, said James Harpole, who worked for Wells in the old District 6. He didn't want us to be an occupation uh, um, force, said Harpole, who retired from MPD as an assistant chief several years ago. He wanted us to be guardians, not warriors. And though those weren't the popular terms then, that's the philosophy that he embraced. Man. The Milwaukee Police Department released a statement Monday calling Wells a law enforcement pioneer. He was always a thorn 
and held their feet accountable um, and um, for their um, racial inequality in, in the department. Um, anyway, um, he was a mentor to many members of our agency and our community will be greatly missed. In, in our community, he will be greatly missed. We send our condolences to his family during this difficult time. His wife, Corrine, also served as a police officer. His family has requested privacy, says Sergeant Troy Johnson, the current president of the League of Martin. The Milwaukee Police Department definitely needed a lot more of Lenny Wells, Johnson said. He meant so much to us. After he retired from the force, Wells was appointed chair to the Wisconsin State Parole Board in 2003. The cop in me says that the correctional facilities were made for some people. They fit, he told the Journal Sentinel then. But the idealist in me says that there are though a lot of other people who are taking a bed space in jail that belongs someplace else. Those people can be helped. Three years later, Wells had to preside over a parole hearing of for two men convicted of killing a Milwaukee police officer. Wells said, as a former officer, he did not want to see them released, but under the law, they were eligible and had completed other requirements for parole. He decided to free the men and face intense criticism. He tried to create a mechanism to rescue himself from the future decisions where he had to have conflict of interest as a former officer. But ultimately, it did not move forward, and he just resigned. Wells felt duty-bound to follow the law, even when it went against popular expectations or his preference. He demonstrated the sort of integrity the public sphere could sorely use, said um, a Journal Sentinel editorial staff person. That makes his departure from the public officer office so much more regrettable. Uh, Wells had also obtained a doctorate in leadership, learning, and service from Cardinal Stritch University and became the director of two satellite campuses uh, for Concordia University here in Milwaukee. Wow. Man. He remembered every student by name, old students as well as his new students. Oh, yeah, that's Lenny. That's Lenny. That's Lenny. Students will come back to catch up with him. He was really loved. Hart said that she met Wells, met with Wells last month to discuss her plans to pursue her master's degree. He wanted her to be a graduate assistant in his class, she said. She plans to focus on restorative justice and re-entry efforts. Wells' legacy will live on through Hart and other students at the University of Memphis current and former police officers at the Milwaukee Police Department and the many other officers he touched. He was a great man, said Howard, the current assistant chief. He had a lot and he did a lot for many of us and didn't ask for anything in return other than we pay it forward. That's something that many of us as African Americans try to do every single day. Rest in power, Leonard Wells. And um, that coronavirus is taking on a whole new life now. Y'all, you know, please be careful out there. Y'all let me know. Do y'all know anybody that's been afflicted, that's come in contact? Um, how are you staying safe? How are you staying out of the combat zone? You know, does your city have a lockdown rule or stay at home clause in it like mine? Please share your thoughts with me and let me know what you're going through over there. Okay, because we all connected. I love you all. I love you. And y'all take care and stay safe. And I'll see you in the next video.